guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today, as you can probably tell, we will be installing this carbon fibre uh, front nose piece, I guess you call it. Um, so this one will be going on the car, covering up the stock, just sort of um, matte black. Um, this being an MR, it did used to be like a, it's like a grey colour one. Um, previous owner has changed it out to the GSR style matte black one. Uh, which looks a lot better but Letitia really wants to get a carbon front one so this is what will be going on the car now this piece is just a cover so this is going to be nice and easy to put on I was going to remove the front bumper but after actually testing it there's really no need and it'll probably be easier to do with the bumper on the car just so I can I have something I can sort of like press against when I'm um, when I put the glue on so if it was just off the car it would probably be a little bit harder even so this will be just a cover that's going to go on so it should be really easy to do and I'll tell you guys what else is easy and that is creating your very own website on Squarespace on Squarespace <laughs> no I'm just joking guys this is if I'm getting the uh, Squarespace advertiser money no sponsors over here maybe one day though but yeah um, this is what we're doing, so yeah, it will be really easy. We're just going to flip it over, chuck some double-sided tape on, um, heat it up a little bit, get the glue on the tape nice and sort of sticky, and then we'll just throw it straight on. Um, and I did ceramic coat this piece the other night, so it's a couple of nights since I did it. Um, should keep it protected from the sun, keep the clear coat looking clear and not faded. So all I really need to do is, I just started, um, pulling these, these plugs off, uh, these are for the front number plate bracket that we have to run in Australia. Um, obviously this car you now has the side number plate bracket from Evolution by Design. So we're left with these three holes and then this extra one over here which I'll have to uh, pop off because it's nice on there. That's actually covering the original number plate bracket that the previous owner put on this car which was a Euro style and it came all the way out to here and way out the side. It was really big. Uh, Letitia hated it. So it meant we ended up with an extra hole here, but that's now going to be covered. So yeah, I'll pop this guy off. Um, it's going to give this a good wipe down with um, some Car Pro Eraser, just to make sure there's no sort of residue of wax or anything left on it. Um, and then we can put our tape down and we should be good to go. put this one strip on. I think we're going to have to uh, go for a little drive and pick up some more of this. See, I wouldn't be confident just using this stuff. And that is that's all I've got left of this uh, Gorilla Grip tape that I generally use. So you know, I'll jump into my car, go for a quick run up and we'll get some more tape. So just got home, went and picked up more of this Gorilla 
double-sided mounting tape, which is the same that I have here. It's probably like my third roll of this stuff. Um, yeah, I really like this stuff. So yeah, just went and picked this up. So we can do more than just this single strip now. All right, so we have a bunch of tape on there. Um, just going to, so I can put these little strips of this thin 3M stuff on the inside pieces here, as well as these long pieces here. So hopefully it holds. Um, I'll just put a few more here for the top and the bottom. But I just wanted to see before I go too far in doing that, just how it sort of fits. So it's going to look really good and it will fit pretty well from the looks of it. So, all right, yeah, I'll pull it off, get a little bit more tape on, peel all the back edges off and then, um, yeah, hopefully we can just stick it and it'll stay. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have got all the tape that I could get, ran out of this one and already used all of this new one that I just bought. So we got a lot of tape on there hoping that it'll be okay. Um, I mean, it does sort of sit on there pretty well anyway. It doesn't feel like it's popping off. So, got the heat gun. It's going to just heat up the tape a little bit. And just realized I forgot to peel one of them off. Yeah, just one. So I'll get that, continue heating the tape up with the heat gun, just so it's um, sort of extra hot and sticky so once it goes on it's got heat in it and it'll just sort of bond that's what i'm hoping so yeah let's uh get this last little bit that i nearly forgot off All right guys, so it's on. I don't know if I'm 100% on it. Um, it's like really flimsy cover. I really feel like I prefer a whole sort of replacement piece in carbon that you can get. So you pull this whole piece off and then it's actually not an overlay. It's just like an actual carbon bit. Obviously gonna be a lot more expensive, but yeah, I mean, it looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm just worried about the sort of, I don't know how it lasts, I guess, but yeah, we'll leave it up to the t-shirts, her part. She got it for cheap enough that she can sell it off if she wants, um, which I think she's already kind of planning on doing. Um, just off the little damage that it had in it, which I've sort of repaired. But what I'll do now is I'll um, grab my camera, go for a little drive down the road and we'll get some photos of it, see what it looks like in the sun. So yeah, I'll do that now. Right, guys so parked up down here in the light just get a better look at it unfortunately I didn't dry the car enough at the front so I got water droplets all everywhere but yeah, you can see what it looks like looks pretty good it's 
so hopefully it stays in this condition. I mean, the fitment's not perfect, um, but yeah, definitely suits the car. So I've got the carbon sort of flowing now. So yeah, got my camera. Just gonna get a few photos, which I may throw up on the screen. And yeah, that'll be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And make sure you subscribe if you're not already. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.